what is going on guys today i'm going to show you how to do a basic fade on your grass to make it look a little bit better than just culling if we look at this grass you can see it fades into existence and it looks a bit nicer so it looks a bit nicer because if we look at the normal way it usually fades like this you see it sort of pops into existence it doesn't look quite as nice do that come into my material so you can work this with any material you want this is what it looks like here we just need to basically duplicate that so come into your base material right uh, left click it set it to mask you can set it to translucent if you want and but i'm going to be doing mask today because i want it to fade like a mask rather than like translucency right click and type in pixel so we get our pixel depth right click type divide to get a divide connect that up so what pixel depth is doing is the larger the pixel is in your screen the basically you can go between two values so it's in simple terms the closer it is to you you can change something about it so if i would set this in a different way i could change other things but today we're going to be changing the mask now right click and multiply Um, right clicking you can go like one constant I think it's called constant, or just constant so you get a shortcut for these you can hold M left click for multiply or one left click for your constant Put that into A set this to about a thousand because it needs to be divided quite a lot set that into your divide now change this value to one now if we were to preview this how long the preview will take to load but let's give it a check okay. the further we get away the lighter it's going to get the closer we get darker so you can see it's transitioning between two values I also like to set up a clamp that way it doesn't ever exceed the value of one or go below the value of zero don't think this is necessarily too important for this example but if you were to use it for other reasons like changing the color or something like that um, i feel like this is still quite an important step and then we want to set up a one minus note to invert it because as you can see when we get closer it's getting dark we want to have the reverse because with opacity or your opacity mask the lighter it is or the higher the value it's going to be showing the lower the value is going to be disappearing so if we get close and it goes to black that means it will disappear when we get close rather than the reverse so pop the a in it will reverse that result for us and we're pretty much done put that into your opacity mask now and then you can basically right click this convert that to a parameter pull it whatever you want like distance fade or something and what that allows us to do so to do that again you right click it and convert to parameter and then call it what you want set your value to one make sure it's at one what that allows us to do is basically allow us to dynamically change our fade distance and that's pretty much done i won't click apply because i've done the exact same thing and i don't want to wait for the material to load but you should get the same results so now if i were to change this so again make sure your culling is in line with your fade right so if we and uh let's say we had it coming real close so like oh select both my uh, grasses let's say 500 so it's there we then would want to come into here and make sure that adjusts to that close so keep coming down you'll see it come in here that starts oh, a little bit less okay, so that'll start fading in for us it's very important to make sure you have the culling still set up because basically you don't um it will start uh running slower because it would think those assets are still in the scene despite they're being invisible and if we can actually look at my fps right now so we're getting 110 if i turn this let's say turned it to zero which means all the grass would load in actually it didn't drop as much as i thought it would but oh there you go 30 80 but if i set this to an actual value close enough to me we had it at 500 didn't we you'll see oh wow yeah see that jumping frames now one issue that is with this uh, i want to show you this as well is you'll still get the shadows from the ones that have disappeared right 
again if you just align it where you want so that's if you have shadows on i usually have my grass shadows turned off but if you do just align it correctly you probably won't even notice it and the grass will usually be a little bit further away anyway you should definitely not uh but And that's how I set up my uh, my foliage fade, just to look a little bit nicer than a normal culling. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.